Prince Andrew was all smiles as he rode and stayed by King Charles' side as he battles cancer. Prince Andrew was seen taking a walk with his partner near his home in Windsor, a week after his older brother King Charles was diagnosed with cancer. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell. So you don't miss anything about the British royal family. Prince Andrew was pictured laughing and joking as he rode a horse outside his home in Windsor. The disgraced Duke of York was seen with his companion during a picnic and was later seen smiling behind the wheel of his car a week after it was revealed his older brother King Charles had been diagnosed with cancer. Andrew appeared to joke with fellow riders as he rode through Windsor today near his Royal Lodge residence, wearing a jacket bearing the insignia of the Grenadier Guards, of which he is an honorary colonel. He also seemed to be in a good mood as he left home in his car. Charles broke the news of his cancer diagnosis privately to Andrew and his other siblings, Princess Anne and Prince Edward, before going public. Buckingham Palace has confirmed that some of its upcoming public events will have to be rescheduled or postponed as the King begins treatment immediately, with Prince William and Queen Camilla set to clear the backlog. A councillor of state is not expected to be appointed to represent the King in constitutional matters. The King hopes to resume some of his duties, but how much he can do will depend on his course of treatment and what doctors tell him to do. If the monarch is temporarily unable to perform his duties as sovereign due to illness, two or more councillors of state may be appointed on his behalf by writ. The provision for the Council of Ministers was made under the Regency Act from 1937 to 1953, and the only people who can currently replace Charles are Queen Camilla, and the four adults in the line of succession over the age of 21, William, Harry, Andrew and Princesses Beatrice. In 2022, the King asked Parliament to add his younger brother Edward and sister and as additional councillors of state to replace him if necessary, and the additions were quickly passed into law. The law added Anne and Edward to the list, but did not exclude Andrew and Harry, who were no longer members of the family. Andrew was forced to retire from public life after giving a car crash interview on BBC Newsnight about his relationship with paedophile Jeffrey Epstein. He later lost his military connections and royal patronage with the approval of the late Queen Mother. Table however, the House of Lords later heard that only officials of the royal family were asked to act as advisers of state. This means that Harry and Andrew will not be required to act. Andrew's ex-Royal Lodge wife Sarah Ferguson is also receiving treatment for skin cancer when the Royal was diagnosed with the disease. The disease was discovered last June after several moles were removed, during treatment for breast cancer. One of the moles turned out to be cancerous, and doctors discovered it was caught early. The spokesman said last month, after being diagnosed with early-stage breast cancer this summer, Sarah, Duchess of York has been diagnosed with malignant melanoma. Her dermatologist asked the Duchess to remove and analyze several moles at the same time. One underwent a mastectomy followed by reconstructive surgery and one was diagnosed with cancer. Other investigations are ongoing and remain in their early stages. The Duchess is in good spirits although she is certainly worried as she received the new diagnosis shortly after receiving treatment for breast cancer. The Duchess would like to thank her entire medical team for their support, particularly her dermatologist, who remained vigilant to detect the disease when it appeared. According to him, his experience shows that it is important to monitor the size, shape, color and texture and the appearance of new moles, which can be signs of melanoma. Thanks for watching till the end.